Hey, what's going on guys? Belton here. Uh, I'm going to have a really, really quick video today. Kind of a flash in the pan, actually. Um, I noticed a pretty insane uh, technique uh, or market opportunity that is very likely to only last for a few hours within this being posted. Um, I also felt partially responsible because I have kind of covered this a little bit. And I think that, um, you know, the push that I might have given some people has what it has been the reason for why this uh these market conditions have kind of emerged uh as i've mentioned in the past i don't really want to profit off you guys and i, I don't really want that to be a dynamic between you know viewer streamer viewer content creator um so i thought i would kind of just point it out to you and uh you know let the market adjust anyways i'm going to get to it right away i'll do the demonstration and explain what's going on after in this tab here we have uh 27 uh superior tornado shots these can be purchased from uh, <clears throat> Lily for one chance worth each, or you might just have some lying around that if you want to buy them with, say, 20 quality like this, they're about 5 chaos. Uh, on top of that, we have 27 for grading lenses. Uh, these are 120 chaos each. Um, sorry, chaos. Well, between 100 and 120 chaos each, bringing our grand total for this tab to thir just under 13 divides. Let's get to it. All right, so uh, what's going on here? Well, you can see that we've got now a situation where we've got 24 divergent tornado shots and three anomalous tornado shots. Why did we do this? Well, basically, previously, people were, when they were approaching uh, an attempt to get anomalous tornado shots, which is the tier one of that gem, being that it's the most expensive, and it's usually the one, the version that is used by the highest end builds. Uh, the primary way people were doing that was by using uh, primer grading lenses on a divergent tornado shot. This had two effects. Number one, it, it gave a use case for divergent tornado shot outside of its, um, you know, its actual use being put on as, as, as a skill uh, on builds. Um, but also if you are using a regretting lens on a alt quality gem, so either on anomalous or on divergent, um, it can obviously change to superior. And so that essentially acts as a way for the market to taper off its own level of inflation, uh, because, uh, it's effectively removing, um, the supply of alternate quality gems that is going to come naturally from, uh, things like the uh, Divination card set and uh, people running Heist, right? So you have the alternate quality gems, either Divergent or Anomalous, that are being created by people running Grand Heists, Blueprints, or by people getting them from the alt quality gem. And then if people are using Regrading Lenses, that's going to get rid of a good amount of them as well. People are obviously going to use them for their own builds, corrupt them, whatever it is. Now, <clears throat> because of, potentially because of the video I just made, but also maybe just because people are getting wise to it, um, a lot of people, especially as of late, have been using prime regrading lenses on uh, the divergent gem. Now, what this has done is caused the price of the divergent gem to spike up quite a significant amount. However, it hasn't really impacted the anomalous gem, um, nor has it impacted the price of the regrading lenses. Uh, and why is that significant? Well, it creates a situation where you cannot lose money by doing this right now. You literally have zero risk because the divergent gems are now the same price essentially as the regrading lens, which means that you can go and purchase one of these superior gems since they're constantly available uh, in, in ad infinitum in perpetuity for one chance orb from Lily, right? Uh, you can you never have to worry about the, the creation of them, uh, so those are always there. That price will never change, <clears throat> and because the regrading price is so low. And the, the amount of people using the Divergent Gems as a base to then pop off for their Anomalous Gems. Uh, all you're doing essentially is rather than deciding to use the Regrading Lens on the um, <clears throat> Divergent Gem, we're going to just use it on the Superior Gem. Because the only two outcomes that you can have are either 
the anomalous or the divergent in that situation. I'll talk about the effects that that has economically speaking in a second, um, <clears throat> but just in terms of outcomes, uh, if we have a brick situation, which, you know, that being that we get the worst of the potential outcomes as there's only two of them, uh, we break even, right? We lose a small amount, like five, 10 chaos, right? Because the grading lenses are about 100 to 120 chaos. And as we saw there, the diversion tornado shots are between 95 and 125 C. And if you level them to 2020, uh, they're about, I think, 150 chaos. Um, and if we look at anomalous tornado shots, they are, uh, they were three divines a few minutes ago, but they're 2.7 to three divines, right? So that means that in situation one, uh, we spend 120 C and we end up with 110 C or situation two, we end up with 750, 700, 750 chaos. Um, now this wouldn't be that significant on other gem types, but tornado shot is somewhat unique in, in the weightings that it has. And I'll pull that up here cause I put together a little document. So we can see here when we look at this, um, the weightings of a uh, tornado shot that you'll see in the corner here. Um, typically, when you have a, a gem that has uh, just three quality types, uh, the rarest of those will usually have a weighting of 10, and the most common one will have a weighting of uh, 100. And I'm pretty sure Superior always has a weighting of 50. Uh, but in a situation like that, if you were to use a regrading lens on a Superior or just your basic gem, you would only have a 1 in 11 chance. Um, to hit the, you know, chase gem or the tier one gem. And because of that, not many people would ever pursue it. However, Anomalous has a weighting of 20, which means that rather than being a one in 11, it's actually just a one in six. Uh, and that's obviously better than, uh, that's more than doubling your odds, right? Um, and, uh, well, sorry, just not more than double, just less than double, but uh, still significantly improves the odds. Um, and since we just determined now, because most people are going to be wanting to use the regrading lens on divergent gems, and as a, the divergent version is also a good gem in of itself, uh, and it has a use case independent of being used as a, you know, just as a gamble for people trying to get anomalous, um, you have, you know, the or the demand that it naturally has for people trying to use the gem for its build. Plus you have this surge in demand of people who are trying to use it as a base type to roll uh, the anomalous gem. So because it's a one in six to gain a huge amount of profit or, and the five and six situation, uh, which is when it goes divergent has almost literally no effect whatsoever. Um, we can just do basic math and see what our net outcome is gonna be. Um, and because again, because the window is so small in terms of your, your loss potential, uh, you, get, you get some pretty insane numbers. Um, so right here, <coughs> we can see the tornado shot prices. Uh, superior gems, uh, one chance orb. Uh, divergent gems, 100 to 200 chaos. Anomalous gems, uh, 2.7 divines to three divines. Uh, the, the cost of the lens is 100 to 120 C. Um, so we're going to run a scenario here where we do it in a large bulk to see what the outcome would be uh, in terms of uh, based on weightings and, uh, you know, a large sample size. So if we were to buy 60 lenses, uh, that would cost 7,200 chaos. And we're going to use them on uh, 60 superior bases, right? And again, superior bases you can get for free. Just go ahead and buy them from Lily. Uh, if we were to do that, because the anomalous gem is a, a two out of or twenty out of one hundred and twenty weighting, which is one in six, that means ten out of those sixty gems would turn anomalous, and fifty of them would go divergent. Uh, at the current market prices, that would mean that those ten anomalous gems are worth seventy five hundred chaos, and the fifty divergent gems are would be five thousand chaos at one hundred chaos each. Um, so that would be a total of twelve thousand five hundred chaos that we would be getting back. Uh, on what we spent. Uh, that is exactly 50 divines. Um, and as I mentioned, we're using 60 lenses and the, the other gems are free. So that means our total cost is only 7,200 chaos, which leads to a profit of 5,300 chaos or 21.2 divines. Um, and again, because you can get the superior gems and create them basically out of thin air just in your own hideout, the only thing that you need to get here are the regrading lenses. Um, 
do I think this is going to last forever? No. That's why I want to make a quick video. Also, I didn't really want to take advantage of this because I feel like I, you know, I, I might have pushed some of these conditions uh, into into place by, you know, doing that video about uh, using the regrading lens on the um, divergent gem. Uh, but one of the reasons why this is actually really good right now, too, uh, I just made a couple of notes here. <clears throat> uh, tornado shots, one of the most highly used skills in the game. Um, and you can go look on Ninja to see this. Most of the, uh, many of the top builds, many of the top mirror builds, um, it's pretty much a top three skill all the time. Uh, it also only has three quality types, superior, uh, anomalous, or divergent. Um, again, Tornado Shot, unlike most gems, has a its third mod, or its lowest weighting mod, have a 20 weighting rather than a 10. Um, another thing that's somewhat unique to it is that uh, both alternate quality versions are used quite frequently, so uh, divergent and Anomalous are both used in a lot of different builds. Um, I, Anomalous is definitely, you know, the higher tier one, uh, but there's certainly builds that don't need to have the conversion and the attack speed works perfectly well. So it's not just people who are using it uh, as, again, as a launching point to gamble uh, with the, the regrading ones trying to make it Anomalous. There are people who actually use it for builds, uh, which again, just creates a demand on top of the demand. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we covered that. Um, now this is another thing I wanted to do too, because sometimes I see this in the comments and people, you know, they mention that, uh, maybe I don't go into this in thorough or enough detail. So I, I did here. What do I think the consequence of this video will be? It doesn't matter how popular it is. Even if 5,000 views, 2,000 views, if five of you act on this, it's probably enough to uh, actually fundamentally change the market. So here is pretty much what I can guarantee is going to happen, uh, within 24 hours of this video coming out. Um, superior tornado shot uh, can be bought from Lily uh, for one chance orb. Due to this, its value is never going to change. Traditionally, the primary source of alternate quality gems is from Grand Heist Rewards. Superior is almost never the most efficient gem type quality uh, to use a regrading lens on, and therefore the majority of lenses are being used on. Uh, the, <coughs> sorry, the majority of lenses that are being used on tornado shot are either going to be swapping uh, divergent or anomalous. Uh, result, resulting in a net even amount of alternate quality gems, or they're going to convert it to superior, which reduces the total amount of uh, alternate quality gems. This, in effect, prevents the supply uh, of divergent and anomalous gems from being flooded, um, as the new alternate quality gems that are being added to the market are coming through heist primarily at a pace that somewhat matches the amount that are being removed from the market by lenses uh, and by be pe from people purchasing them naturally. Uh, due to the conditions uh, that we just talked about there, um, what we just mentioned as a previous point uh, is not going to be the case anymore. Uh, the most profitable and least, the least risky way to do this, uh, given the values of everything right now, uh, is no longer to use the, alter, or the lens on an alternate quality gem, but to use it on the superior gem. Um, because, again, one of six will go anomalous and five of six will go divergent. Uh, since the superior gems can be brought into existence without any effort at almost no cost, this is going to cause a massive surge in the total of, amount of available alternate quality gems. Uh, without a sink to combat their inflation, and again, that sink is typically the fact that, you know, when you use the regrading ones, it can go superior. And most people, when it goes superior, they just throw the gem away. Um, so there's only two possible outcomes that can happen from this. Either the... Alternate quality gems will significantly decrease in price, um, like 50% plus, or the cost of regrading lenses will have to increase to match that as well. Um, it's possible that both things happen too, um, but it, it's very, very unlikely that these conditions will stay as they are uh, because, again, there, there's literally no way to lose money doing this uh, unless you had like a one in a million event happen. Even in that situation there, where we did 27 of them, if all 27 of those gems, if every single one of them went divergent, we would have lost one divide. And it's a one in six. So that would mean that we would have had to fail a 16% chance 27 times in a row. And again, the likelihood of that very, <laughs> you know, infinitesimally rare. So uh, again, this is not a very formal video. Uh, I did just want to throw that out there though, because uh, you know, my money-making side is seeing this and getting a little, whew, uh, and I, I know the potential that this could be 
taken to, especially if you then bring in double corruptions and stuff like that. But uh, I do think this is a little bit unfair because I think I kind of pushed these conditions into place. Um, so definitely check this out as well. Uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, guys, now that I've kind of talked about this, and if you are, don't want to jump into a market that you think is going to, again, have the effects I just mentioned um, within, you know, 24 hours, it's very unlikely that this is going to still be here. Take a look at all the other different alternate quality gems, right? Take a look at those ratios. There might be another market where this exists. Uh, if you want to find out what ratios are, just go out uh, to uh, pa or, uh, POEDB, uh, type a gem type, and uh, it'll show you there. It'll say all three gems. It'll show their weighting. You can figure that out. Specifically, again, what made this one interesting was that the rarest version had a 20 weighting, uh, and that is rather unique. So anyways, I hope those of you who see this early uh, and decide to uh, pursue it, uh, do so with uh, a good deal of vigor and happy returns. Um, and uh, for the rest of you, I will see you in the next video. Cheers.